Well, you look thoughtful. Anything you care to share? I was waiting for you. Wondering if you're gonna come home. Of course. This is my house. I'm not gonna let Esme chase me out of it. Where is that little snake, anyway? Has she slithered off somewhere other than Windermere? I hate to disappoint you, my love, but Esme's still here. We had an interesting conversation about her childhood. Oh. Well, what heart-rending tale of woe did she spin? Or, a better question, how much of it did you buy? I pretended to buy all of it. So is that your strategy? Be a sympathetic ear so that Esme will open up to you? The more we know about her, the better. Oh, I already know more than I care to know. Let's talk about something more pleasant. How about I make you a drink? No, thank you. I'm going to bed. You sound good. I'll join you. surprised to get your letter saying you're going to the United States with Spencer. I hope he brings you all the happiness you deserve. But I have to ask if being in New York is wise. No good can come from any contact with your father. Please be careful. Love, Maggie. Well, I hope you had the housekeeper make up a guest bedroom for you. Because I have no intention of moving out of the master's suite, and I certainly have no intention of sharing a room with you. We say a lot of things when we're angry. Did you think I didn't mean it? I think we are both passionate, volatile people. I think we both live in the moment, and we say what's on our minds, which is why we're so good together. This isn't foreplay, Nicholas. As long as Esme remains in this house, you're gonna need a lot of blankets because your bed is gonna be very cold. Even after the vow renewal ceremony? Oh, there isn't gonna be one. You wanna postpone a vow renewal? Can we work through this? This is more than just a lover's spat. The way I feel right now, any vow you made to me would be meaningless. 